Thanks for joining us online. I'm Kevin Hurd here with another episode to talk to you a little bit about technology. Today I'm focusing on cable and satellite alternatives. You know, cable bills, satellite bills have really, really gone through the roof. You do get a lot of good content on cable and satellite today, but the prices are going up and up. And recently I decided to cut my own cable, literally got rid of my cable box, saving myself a lot of money every month. And today I want to share with you some ways that you can still get access to great content by cutting the cable. I'm going to introduce you to a few different methods about that. The first cable and satellite alternative that I want to introduce you to is a little device called the Roku box or an internet streaming box that takes programming from the internet and makes it viewable on your television set. It basically has a number of different internet channels that you can get into to watch different programs. You can even see here right behind me there are a number of different networks that it's part of. You see some uh, Names you recognize here, Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, Hulu Plus. You can watch programming on these channels using the Roku box. And then you have some other different networks as well, music networks, news networks, sports, science and technology, food. It really, really runs the gamut. Many of these are free channels as well, but you do have to pay for some of them. But when you add it up over the course of a month, it comes out a lot less than your cable and satellite bill probably is. Next device I want to introduce you to is something you probably already have in your home. It's your Blu-ray player. Many new Blu-ray players coming out these days have connectivity to the internet and they allow you to stream shows from Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, just to name a few. This is a Samsung Blu-ray player I bought about three years ago. Many, many, many of the Blu-ray players now on the market have the same features that this one does, allowing you to connect to the internet to watch those shows online. Kind of almost counterintuitive having a Blu-ray player that you put discs in that also connects to its uh, biggest competition these days, going to the online shows. The way this works is on this particular player, you do have to have an ethernet cable to connect this thing to the internet. There is a way to connect it over Wi-Fi as well, but you have to buy a separate card and that runs about $40. Some Blu-ray players out there today though, do allow you to connect directly to the Wi-Fi without that extra card. That's one thing you'll really wanna make sure you look for when picking out a Blu-ray players if you need to buy anything extra. Another cable and satellite alternative is to use the computer that you already have in your house to connect it to the TV so you can watch videos and other content on a much bigger screen in your living room. If you have a laptop, this works especially well, especially an extra laptop laying around. Most TVs these days have what's called a VGA input. This is that connection that your computer monitor has as well. You can use that along with the output on your laptop, the VGA output use the VGA cord to connect your laptop to the back of your television set and that's going to put the video on your TV screen just like you're seeing over here right now. If you just have the VGA, you can also use the headphone, headphone output on your laptop or desktop and connect it to the headphone input on your TV and that's what's gonna put the sound through. And finally, the one alternative that's always worked throughout the years is a TV antenna. These things go way, way back, of course, before the days of cable and satellite even came along. These were the ways that people got their networking programming through the TV. And even though we still have high definition TVs today, these things still work great. If you do have a high definition TV, you can usually plug most antennas into the television set and receive that over the air programming from networks like NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, your local affiliates. A great way to get programming. And these days too, most networks provide sub channels as well. Uh, perhaps maybe like a 20.1, a 20.2, a 20.3, giving you more programming options on your television set. I picked up this particular antenna right here, what they call the rabbit ear set at Goodwill for $2.99. And it works absolutely fantastic. If you are looking in the market for an antenna and you want to save some money in that way too, I suggest you go to a thrift store such as Goodwill, Saver, something like that, pick up an antenna. They always seem to have things like that laying around there. And that'll do it for today's tech tip on still getting great content even if you cut your cable and satellite bill. Hey, on your way out too, be sure to hit the subscribe button or drop us a comment. I'd love to be able to talk with you and hear from you. And you can get more of this information as well on the website, kevintalkstech.com. We'll see you next time.